Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. We are back with another vloggy type of video. I usually have my room as a background, but because of course we just finished recording, I have my green screen set up, so welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom. Now, today I want to talk about something. Um, is Super Mario Maker good? In a short answer, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, it is amazing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the whole thing right after this little thing. I originally wanted to do a very, very long Let's Play of the series. Um, there is so much content in there. There is a lot of replayability, tons of stuff that I could have done weekly or even daily. I was really excited for it. So on the 10th of September, I purchased it online so I don't have the physical copy. So I purchased it. Cause it was like 10 p.m. I was like, can I buy it now? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so, you know, it's like uh, it came out a little bit earlier than midnight my time. So I was able to get it, downloaded it. So good. So freaking amazing. I, um, without going into too much detail about what I recorded, I recorded um, the episode, did a lot of good stuff. I recorded two episodes, edited it, uploaded it, ready to go. And right before I decided to schedule it, um, there were copyright claims on it. And any YouTuber who knows, copyright claims isn't really the worst thing in the world, but uh, it can it can turn really nasty. Um, so for those of you who don't know what the heck copyright claims do to your videos, it's um, it gives you a reason about why a certain company claims a part of your video, whether it's um, audio or visual. And Nintendo claimed like about 20 seconds of me finishing a level which went to a tiny little cutscene So I mean if that got copyrighted then most of my videos would be so I, I had to take it down delete it right away So yeah, I originally wanted to do a full 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 let's plays tons of videos every day I would have been so excited to do so but anyway Enough of that so now you know, um, the only way you'll be able to see Mario Maker on my channel is if you watch me during the live streams. Um, the other day, what's today? Today's the 13th, I think on the 12th, um, I did a very, very pretty long live stream for three hours. We had some fun, we made some stages, it was sweet. Um, I'm not going to be able to put any content on um, for replayability for a video on demand, but you have to catch me streaming. So yeah. My um, opinion on Super Mario Maker for the Wii U is based purely on what I have played so far. I have not read a single review, and these are just everything I have to say. It's simply just amazing. The game itself, not a lot to it. It is very user-friendly. Um, there's only two modes as soon as you start the game. There is Create and Make. That's it. So of course everyone wants to jump right into the make mode, you go in, and uh, here's one thing that kind of put me off, but then I kind of warmed up to it. As soon as you start the game, and you go into make mode, it gets you through to a tutorial, which is great, like how to do stuff. It was really nice, it had like little outlines where it's like, you should probably put this here, because remember the game is geared towards the family, the, the family demographic, young kids, adults who maybe aren't, um, who are casual gamers as well. So there you go, but uh, one thing that I really just, like I said, I warmed up to it later, but I didn't like, it's um, they don't give you all of the features for creating right off the bat. Now, what do I mean by that? For instance, you only have one, okay, so in Mario Maker, there are like three different types of, well, maybe four modes, there's different kind of gameplays, right? There's regular Mario Brothers, like NES style, there's Mario Brothers 3, also NES style, and then there's a Super Mario World, Super NES, and then there is um, the Mario Wii U for the Wii U. Different, you know, three different graphics and all that. You don't have all of that unlocked. You start with just two, and you don't start with a lot of enemies. You're missing some backgrounds, features such as changing the time, um, making it auto scroll or not. Um, you, you don't even have Bowser at the start. You start off with a mushroom and a fire flower. You don't even have like a life. Like life or anything, but um, um, you know, some of you might be thinking, oh my god, that is total crap, what the heck. Originally, Nintendo wanted to do something called like a nine day period where as soon as you bought the game and as soon as you went online, you, literally like the clock for nine days would be running 
and every day it would unlock more features depending on how long you played and it would slowly 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 um, unlock the features so you don't get overwhelmed from the start <sighs> I thought that was crap. I was like, I want everything right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just give me everything. Um, they recently updated on the on the on the launch day. They uh, released version 1.05. Is it 1.01? 1.05. One of those two. Um, but it was probably 1.0. They changed it so all you have to do is play the game in maker mode for 15 minutes, and then you unlock new features. But it only happens every day. Still, it's kind of whack. Uh, but it's not bad. Uh, let me give you some examples of some really amazing things you can do in the game uh, while making it. You can put blocks down, sure, like the ones you hit with your head, like the, this one right here. And you can put stuff in, like you put enemies in it, you can put you know different kind of power-ups and all that. The game is just so good, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, I really wish I can show you, you have to go watch the live streams. I made a couple of stages, they're pretty cool. Um, some other really, really cool things that I've been playing with. Remember, I don't have everything unlocked yet, so I don't even know, like, maybe half the features that you can do. Um, lots of mixing and matching. You can make your own enemies, kind of. Um, you can attach wings to enemies, you can stack enemies on top of each other. One cool example is, uh, example, example is, I have, <laughs> on one of my stages, I put a Goomba, 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 and a fire flower now, not like the, the fire flower power up but like uh, the piranha plant sorry the piranha plant that shoots fires at you so the goombas walk back and forth and the piranha will shoot fireballs at you and you know it's pretty cool you can make lots of different stages uh, I, I made a pure parkour stage where it's in the underground level and you, it, the, you there's no enemies you literally just have to wall jump all over the place and get through it I thought it was really cool um, so yeah Let's talk about the single player aspect. Like, what do you do after you build, right? What do you do after you make your stages? You upload them, uh, or you can have your friends play them. But before we talk about the online section, let's talk about the single player. What can you do by yourself besides making games? Besides making levels? There are There is a thing called a 10 Mario Life Challenge. Um, so what happens is you just go into it. It's in the play mode. If you're offline, you can play this. Um, you go through eight stages with ten lives. The small little cutscene with the story. It has like a, it has, it's a throwback to the Mario levels where you go one, one level, beat it, one level, one level, one level, then the Bowser's Castle. It's pretty cool. Um, it ranges from easy to difficult. You know, of course, uh, it gradually, sorry, hit the mic. It gradually gets harder um, as you go along, and it shows a lot of different types of levels that you can make. So I really highly recommend that if you play the game or you think about doing that play a couple of those stages first to give you an idea of some things you do now remember the, the stages that you play offline like i said in the 10 in the um, 10 life um single player challenge thing their developer it was made by the developers so they wanted you to see exactly what you can do it's really cool and now let's talk about the online thing you finish your stage you can upload it and so you press upload and you name it and all that good stuff i keep hitting my thing because i move thingy okay so you upload it, and it says, hey, right before you upload it, you have to prove that you can beat the stage, so you have to do it. <laughs> That's a really, really, really good feature. Um, I had a problem, however. I made a stage called, um, it's called My Versus Games YouTube Trials 1. Um, I'm trying to make like a trial series of stages where it's almost impossible to beat. I'm not going to lie. It's actually pretty hard. Um, possible is, a, you know, it's a hyperbole, I guess. But it's amazing. It's you have to see it. You have to see it. That's all I can say. It's really hard to explain. But it took me like, okay, it took me like maybe two hours, two to three hours to make it, and maybe another hour to beat it because I kept fudging up, and I was you know hanging out with the chat. We were having fun. So you upload it. It goes online. Um, you can see how many people have played it, and it tells you how many people actually gave it a recommendation. Now, as a recommendation, it's pretty much a star. You beat the level, you can comment it, it goes to the Miiverse, so you can press the, the star button, it gives you, um, a, you know, a, a star to rank up. Um, so, some people might be asking, how many levels can you actually upload at once? Initially, you can upload 10 levels. You can increase the max levels by um, getting high ratings on your levels, which is nice. You don't want people just throwing, like, crap, 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 crap. The more stars you get, I'm, there's like a certain threshold, I haven't reached it yet, but after you get a certain number of stars, it'll upgrade. I'm not sure about how many, like maybe five or ten more. So there you go. So what else can you do online? 
um, you can just browse users and you, you can browse in I think by name or you can go to like recommending users and it'll be like okay here's this user these are all of his levels so we can see the whole catalog it's pretty nice it, there's also a weekly board where it says like oh the, the the recommended the featured the top stars or just random it's pretty nice um, not gonna lie a lot of stages I played pretty crap pretty crap like I said um, this game is geared towards the family, so a, a lot of like kids I think were making levels, and it was oh my god, it was so bad. I, I'm, I'm not. It's, uh, was it even creative? Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, hopefully, as the days go by, more people will get used to the system, and more stuff will be unlocked for everybody to make even more crazy stages. There is another online thing that you can do called the. Oh, what was it called? The 100 Mario Life Challenge. It's the same thing in single player with the 10 life, but this time you have 100 lives to get through either 8 or 16 stages. 8 being the easy mode, 16 being the hard mode. And it's really cool because once you defeat one of the things, you can redo it over and over and over again. You unlock um, type of things. You unlock like secret mushrooms. So you can put in your own levels that they turn you into different characters. I will talk about that in a second. That's really cool. Uh, but yeah, all of the levels are pretty much user made. So you go, that's why they give you 100 lives because you don't know if it's going to be extremely easy or hard. They give you 100 to get through it. Now, uh, there, there are amiibo features. It's pretty nice. Um, if you play in the original, uh, Nintendo style where it's like Super Mario Brothers 1, um, you can put your amiibo on your Wii U, on your Wii pad. And it unlocks that sprite for a character. For instance, if you get a, a squid boy, I don't know, I never played that game. If you get the squid boy or girl, you put it on there, you get a little sprite of them. You put a Yoshi in there, you can put a Sonic in there. I'm not sure if it works with everybody. Like, if you put Jigglypuff or something, I'm not entirely sure if that works, but it primarily works with Nintendo characters. You can put Link on there too. Um, I'm not sure about Samus. Uh, it doesn't give you any special abilities, but the sprite does look cool. And if you hold up, they do a little sound effect or a little animation model that looks actually pretty cool in my first episode of my mario maker i played a stage where somebody gave me a sonic mushroom so i was able i was able to be sonic so he runs and then as soon as he gets into like the run animation he starts rolling like like sonic does i thought it was pretty cool so um i think that's all i wanted to talk about for now I, this video got way longer than I thought it was going to be. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about this. I'm sorry, I, I can't upload. Maybe Nintendo will somehow change their policies. So I'll be able to upload that stuff. Maybe there's something I could specifically do to my videos to allow it to be uploaded. Um, with, you know, everything intact that I want. So yeah, is Super Mario Maker good? Well, considering I talked about it for... I didn't, I didn't time it because I didn't realize it'd be going on this long. It is amazing. Super highly recommended. And make sure you guys drop by my YouTube gaming live streams so you can watch me live because there's no way else I can put it on for now. So if you don't know how to follow me, just go to youtube.gaming slash mobby versus games. There actually is a different type of follow button. And there's a subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then there's a little plus symbol that you can click on that follows the gaming. So it like shows you when I'm live. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about Super Mario Maker, I'll be more than happy to answer it. This game is so cool. And um, I think this is the first type of video in a while where I've just sat down and talked about video games. So I've, I'm not sure if you guys like these types of videos from me. If you do, I have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games to talk about anything game news related. I'll, I'll be more than happy to sit here. So yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. If we haven't already, hey, that subscribe button. Upload a lot of daily videos. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Go get Mario Maker. I'll see you guys next time.